hey guys welcome back to my channel so this past weekend i decorated for two baby showers and guess what the theme was it was teddy bear themed both of them but the exciting thing with these baby showers was that we did not use the traditional colors. We ended up using greens, okay? So with the first baby shower, I used a mint green and a willow green. And then with the second baby shower, I used a eucalyptus green, okay? So in this video, I'm gonna show you the setup of the first baby shower. So let's get into the setup and then make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because I have some lessons learned for you guys. I actually tried something different with my balloon garlands and I can't wait to tell you guys how it worked out. All right, so let's get started. Oh, and I wanna let you guys know that I have a sale going on right now on my balloon backdrop course, okay? So I get so many questions from you guys on how I create my balloon backdrops. I have a sale going on right now where you'll get 40% off my balloon backdrop online course, okay? So if you purchase this online course, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how I create my balloon backdrops. I'm gonna walk you through the materials that you're gonna need. I'm gonna walk you through how to charge clients and then also how to upsell clients so that you can make more money, all right? So be sure to check the description of this video. I'm gonna put the link to the sale in the description, all right?
guys, so that was the teddy bear themed baby shower. Let me know in the comments, what did you think? So that was the first time that I used that color combination for a teddy bear themed event. So with my client, she did not want to use blue. She did not want to use pink, right? She wanted something that was more unique. So let me know what you think about that color combination for the balloons. I'll be sure to put the links to the colors in the description of this video, okay? Now, for my balloon backdrop, this time I decided to do something different. So when I was adding all of my smaller balloons, so my five inch balloons and then my 11 inch balloons to shape the balloon garland, I didn't use two six C's. So this time I tied some of the necks together and then I also use rubber bands. I, I use a lot of rubber bands because I've had people who've asked me, right? Oh, have you ever tried to just use rubber bands? I've had people tell me that using rubber bands is much easier than using the 260s. So with this event, I decided to try it out, okay? Let me tell you, I do prefer to use 260s, okay? So with the rubber bands, I did find that they were breaking on me right so every time the rubber bands would keep breaking on me then that's when i would just tie the necks together and as you guys know that takes a lot of work like it's really hard on your hands and then you're trying to like get the balloons together so that you can tie the necks together it's just a lot of work for me so going forward i will always make sure that i use my 260 method i just wanted to try that out on this channel because I have so many people who say, oh, well, have you ever tried to use the rubber bands before? And what is your experience with that? So for me, I think that rubber bands can be used in an emergency situation, right? So if you forget 260s, if you run out of 260s, I think you should always have rubber bands in your emergency kit so that you could use rubber bands in that instance. But as my go-to, I'm always going to use my 260s. Rubber bands are just not thick enough and they break too easily for me when I'm trying to add those to my balloon garlands, all right? So I know someone is going to ask about my backdrops, right? Because in all of my videos, I always have someone to ask, where did I get my backdrops from? So I had mine custom made from a vendor a builder in my area. So I'll be sure to put his information in the description of this video. Also, if you follow me on Instagram, I always tag him on my pictures. So you could just check my Instagram posts and see where I got my backdrops from, all right? If you have any questions on where I got my materials, please be sure to check the description of this video. If you have any other questions, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video.